Alright, let's take a look at this one. This one has sound. <laughs> we cracked me up. So this one's cool. It's always great to have sound in there too. Just kind of add to the elements of the shot. Same thing with this one as a previous one that I reviewed where there's not much that really concerns me about the animation. There's some really... I mean, it already starts off with an appealing pose. All that stuff is clear. I think sometimes the arcs could be just worked on a bit where it feels like we're having a bit of an energy going this way. Just the flow of that, but then it kind of stops and goes straight down. Like little things like that just kind of make it ever so slightly more fluid. But I like those elements here where you have multiple limbs. You got, you got your streaks there. All that is great. You got, again, clean poses. The silhouette is nice. All of that is great. And sometimes, again, the arcs where it feels like we can just push the fluidity of those moves just a bit more. And sometimes potentially avoid stuff like that where we might sort of see the elbow bend a bit more when it gets a bit of a short arm or potentially clearing this a bit more for a clear uh, silhouette on the fingers. But the stuff that I like, and this is why I'm, I'm picking this one too, is that it has really good elements in terms of what's close and what's far away to the camera. So we have a really good look of the main character doing more detail work with the fingers and stuff like that here. And then we can go back where there's more body mechanics. It's a bit wider with the bigger poses and the camera's further back to see all of this, which is really cool. And then I love this, that we go really far out and then you can really push the body poses into really exaggerated work and flow. And I love this. This at the end, again, you have big moves with the body, but then it ends with this going out as kind of like an extra joke. I love this. It's it's this bigger element. And I love him flying off. The couple of shots where people have, uh, have him roll off, fly off. But I like that that succession of elements here of close up into a bit of a better view of the body with bigger moves. Now with this, and also nice implementation of 2D effects there, but just bigger moves and the progression of close to far away with a surprising element of this, of him, of him, of that creature, that rock creature here going off. And I love that. So even the detail here of these guys not being completely fused together so that when he starts flying off there's a bit of a delay in there in terms of picky things it could be something where instead of going straight up here i mean it's also part of the shake but even on that flying it could be something where he could lead into it a little bit and then that leads the piece there as well so that we can see almost a bit the separation and because of that that piece then goes over in the rotation as well so then follow back and then you have a bit more of a contrast of like right now, that piece is in this axis for quite some time, as you can see. So it'd be kind of neat to push that where we lean over there. So that piece goes into this, 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 and it starts to turn. So you have that change in the flight path. I think that would be a picky note on this. But that's about that. I thought it was a really clever presentation of all those elements coming together with this fun ending of that thing coming off. And him, and especially if you bring back the sound, how he gets out of here. <laughs> Why, well, that's it. Thanks.